Welcome back to another episode of Open Shutter. I uh, have Paula. We got two Pauls on tonight. I do like Paul and Paulo. I think it just sounds better. So I might change my name to Paulo. Um, thanks everyone for jumping on. Um, Brian is has a has a gig tonight, and um, Evans is actually in Ghana. So uh, he said he might be able to jump on tonight. I doubt that very much, but that's where he is for a month. So maybe he can jump on for one when he's over there. He's uh, he's over there visiting family, so which is very exciting. So just me. Me and Paulo, so a couple of Pauls, and uh, big thanks to Paulo for uh, coming on, just talking about his photography because his photography is uh, really unique and really powerful. And uh, full disclosure, this is our first time actually like meeting. Yeah, because Paulo is part of the Get Out Shoot group, so I just figured I'd ask him if he wants to come on, and so it should be a lot of fun, man. So thanks, thanks for doing this. If you're coming from Paulo's side. Um, I do all kinds of stuff on my YouTube channel, vlogs, documentaries, this show. So uh, if you don't know who I am, check me out after. There's a couple guys on this show, but they're not here. So we'll just we'll just move on. And um, yeah, man, thanks. Thanks. Why don't you give for the audience a little bit about who are you? Thank you so much for, for having me. Uh, I was ready yesterday, as you yeah. know, because I, I was ready <laughs> one day before. And today I almost didn't do it. I was four it's minutes late. That's I'm okay. sorry for that. No worries. Uh, I promise I'm not French. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's basically I start. Uh, a lot of people that know me, they they know that I started uh, when I was six, eight years old with my dad's Pentax. Yeah. So it just uh, was. I was growing up watching. His, he, he was located uh, during his youth. He was located in, on an island close to Australia, so he was oh, really? traveling traveling all around those places, and he, he always did uh, black and white photography, so I grew up seeing all those pictures from him from before, and then the pictures he was taking while I was growing up, and then at yeah. some point, like, by, I will say, six, between six and eight years old, he, he started giving the the reflex Pentax to me, and... and yeah. uh, and I was start learning with him. It, it was a process, not not like nowadays that everything is 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 is, is it's there on the on the on the sensor, and we can just know it. Yeah. So I was learning slowly. He was not. He was giving some leads, but always trying to push me to to understand. So I was. He, he was giving me black and white film. That's why maybe. That's why I uh, I still shoot on black and white. Yeah. So and I was trying to figure out. I was just burning film and taking notes of the settings I was taking those pictures, and then figured out what was the result when I get the the pictures mm. back. So mm. that's that's how it started, and and basically is that it's been a passion since yeah. since, uh, since then. Yeah, that's a great story. It's 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 cool how you started so young because I always I always say to myself, man, if I started when I was like ten, you know, I, I'd be so much further along, but I only really started like, you know, five, six years ago. So it's cool that you started at a very young age. Yeah. But you know. basically on the, on the, I, I actually have it here. It's the, the camera shows up a lot of times on, on my pictures. I have, I'm doing a series actually with, with that camera. It's, this is really the, the one I, I okay. learned what I'm trying to show it here. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. this is the one I got it back uh, actually this year just. It's okay. not working properly, but it's still, it's still the the camera that I, I I started. Everything started there. That's cool, man. That's awesome. So like you like you always shoot on film, like that's that's your thing. No, no, I shoot on I shoot on a on I have a XT4 now and a Leica yeah. Q2 monochrome. So yeah. I don't shoot on film. I I still have film cameras. But usually I shoot on, on, on digital now. It's just mm. uh, it's just convenience. Uh, convenience. Convenience. Yeah. Roy here Roy here in the in the chat, he shoots film. He's asking was a K one thousand. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was yeah. It's it was it's still still it's in working it's a spot matic. No, it's a spot matic actually. It's not a Q one thousand. It's not a it's not okay. No, no, it's not. Yeah, it's there. Wow man. Yeah, Kim. Uh, Kim said that she likes your photography. It's yeah. so good, man. Like I, I can, I can pop up your Instagram. Maybe if we can go through a few photos, um, just because like you capture like people in just the city like so differently. 
Um, but yeah, we can go through a few and just uh, if you guys aren't following. Uh, also, quick question: How come? How come your handle is the ten minus four? Like, what's 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 the meaning behind that? <laughs> that usually, that. usually people refers to that as, or they think it's it's refers to the six. It's not. It's it's a blag that a blag or in French, it's it's a joke I do. It's it's my because I have different personalities. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's uh, that's my inspiration. It's it's basically Frank Orvat who, who started doing that. He was okay. the first one who taking the models outside of the studio in the fifties and shooting them in in a environment in the city. But at the same time, in a conversation with with Cartier Bresson, he says, "Why you don't buy a Leica?" So he bought a Leica and he went two years to India and Pakistan doing documentary photography. Yeah. So he did all sorts of he was an excellent street photographer too so he didn't stick and he died a few years ago with 90 something years old and and mm. he he was even trying to do so he, he always tried to go to different perspectives of photography not not sticking right. as a fashion photographer or or as right. a street photographer right. so he's my 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 big inspiration on okay. and in terms of photography so yeah. I, I try to do a sort of the same thing. Don't stick to the, don't stick to one style and just, just go from, yeah. Yeah, from one, one it, place to the other. Yeah. And, like, and I'm try just, to... Yeah. It's good, man. Like, I don't know. Do you like, do you have any favorites here that you posted on, on your Instagram that you want to point out to people or cool stories that happen? I, I have like the, the, my, I started these actually, I started shooting because I'm a very shy person. So I, it took mm. me a long time getting out of my comfort zone and and approach people like yeah. you can see you can see there the you can see there uh candid Uver. i don't know if i'm pronouncing the mm. the the handle correct so we did this this cooler okay. one the other day actually it was these two on with a black background it was actually funny if you guys could see the place we took the pictures it, it will yeah. be funny because yeah. it's not it doesn't look nothing like that it looks nothing and like I, it. <clears throat> yeah so this one is actually one of the things I'm I'm trying to do now. I call it I call strange names to my series. So this series is part of a one second flat port at distor distortions. So I, okay. I basically shoot with for one second. Yeah. Because it's it's always philosophical too. It refers to to one second in a person's life because mm. it means more like a, that is exactly one second in your life. So yeah. intentionally, I took the picture for one second exposure, okay. keeping right. the camera steady for uh, for. Uh, I tried to be half time, so it will be half second, uh, and we ending the camera very firmly, and then intentionally moving the camera right. on the other on the other half second. So that's it's that's why I movie. call them the. That's cool. That's why man. I call them the because I don't know. A lot of people tells me I get a little bit upset. When people, oh, it's a nice edit, and I, I don't, <laughs> no, I don't even know. Yeah, I don't, I don't even own yeah. Photoshop, or I just use Lightroom as a storage, and it's full. Yeah. So all you can see usually, and she can tell you after, because I, I actually, I never show the pictures, but this one I show to her just to to say, you see, it's here, it's it's nothing I'm gonna do mm. after in in editing in or editing. whatever. Yeah. So it's there. It's, it's so people think you've edited, it, but it's but it's not an edit. That's funny. no, because yeah. back in the time you you don't have photo Photoshop, so you, you need to figure it out how to create this. Yeah, I I like intentional movements of the camera. I do it also okay. in the I do it also in the city. There is mm. pictures from a from a some time ago in, in in the city that I do that too. So I yeah. I took it in with the city backgrounds or in city backgrounds, and I move the. Okay. Uh, interesting. interesting very unique man i like how you get the reflections too like her off the that's cool man i like that yeah i'm sorry i'm moving here some stuff i think i'm starting a fire here which are you is starting a good. fire oh no don't do that <laughs> i mean your stuff is hot but you know let's, let's get it <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i like how you get the reflections you just have a good eye man just different 
Yeah, that one is was funny too. That that one was. Yeah. I, I just saw the mirror on the wall, and I just told her, "Why why not put the mirror on the floor?" And then we just set some exactly. Godox. Exactly. exactly, and it can be that just, easy. It can be that yeah, easy. Two, two Godox five hundred, and we had a. I had a black backdrop, but it's like a a, a sheet of, of from the ba a bad sheet black. Mm -hmm. So I just put it on the back, and we set two Godox on the side, and we tried to set it and and. It's funny because it's nothing that uh, that it's nothing like like it the, the place will look like. No, but they turn out good. They turn out. Yeah, those ones turn great. out good. And that's just the art. That's just the art of photography. Being able to make something. Yeah. Right? Like you're you're just using you're just using what you have. So you use the mirror and put it on the floor. Like it, it could be that simple. Yeah. You know, you just have to think a little bit about. Yeah, yeah a lot of people creative. will look at that and think that you can. I don't know if it's pretty easy. I, I, I have no idea if it's pretty easy to do that on on Photoshop. I usually can figure it out if people do it on Photoshop or not. Mm -hmm. I, I I still think it's it's a form of art. Just don't call yeah. it photography. No. It's yeah, not no, photography. Like, it's something I like, like a, Yeah. I know honestly, whatever is the least amount of work. So if you're able to do it yeah. at the shoot, do it at the shoot. Yeah. <laughs> I usually get a lot of work. Like I don't like to edit at all. So so no. That, okay. Yeah. So you try to keep as yeah as much in the ca as much in the camera as possible, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, interesting, man. Yeah, I like this one too. The paradise That's one. Cool. Yeah, oh, I like that. Which one? Yeah, yeah. That is with the lake. I'm still I'm still getting music to her because it's a 28. The the sensor of the camera it's black and white, so it's basically mm -hmm. you cannot even shoot color even if you want to. Mm. And all my cameras are set to black and white. I, I don't have a, they are not even, I can, even people sometimes they ask, can you provide me color pictures? It's, mm -hmm. I can, because it's, uh, <laughs> I can. It's, all, it's only black and white. It's only on black and white. It's what I see even, white. I really need some people, they, I, I admire that too, but I cannot even see, if I will see the, the colors on the, on the, mm -hmm. On the on the camera, I will I will not feel the same. So I, I need no. to get that exactly what I'm seeing needs to be immediately right. black and white right. to do the. And you gotta you gotta stay true to your art, right? You gotta stay, if that's you know if that's if that's your passion, shooting black and white, then that's yeah. where you gotta stick with it. Yeah, it's not easy at points. No, but no, because no. It's not yeah. for everybody. Not everybody no. likes. Uh, but that's what, but that's what separates you, right? Because because you just you just you just stick stick to what you believe in, and then yeah. you have your own audience, right? So even like the stuff that you, that you did with the subways, right? Is it in here at the somewhere with the subways that you did? Yeah, it should be farther back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because that was super. I was also like this photo. Super. Yeah, there is one there that is actually <laughs> I try to do because people ask me when I'm gonna do line. I think I did line two. And people okay, ask me yeah, when I'm yeah, gonna yeah. do line one, and I say it took me three months to do. Yeah. So how did you do months. it? Like every like, did you do every like, did you do a bunch one night, or did you have to go out do one? So every basically, night? my my when I start this challenge, I will I will say my my thing was I will need to be able to go on the subway, get out of the subway. So yeah. the picture is basically I figured it out that one twenty five. It will be 125, so the exposure. I need to end health because it doesn't work. Yeah. If, you, if you have it on the tripod, the, it, the subway wind will shake will shake right. the tripod. Right, so right, basically, right. I need to figure out the position, my position to the position of the window. And then mm. during, uh, during the, the, yeah, it's like the high park there is there. And then you have off. And, and then I the exposure is one twenty five with the <laughs> with the correction of of uh, yeah man and then to just get, take yeah. the picture and then go again not have, I I have to repeat some of them because my my thing was I go I get out of I get out of the station I position myself the place I try to do every single them of them different and um, and I I try to do the other one that is opera in Paris I try to do the same but. Um, mm -hmm. Well, mm. I, it was COVID time, and and uh, mm. Paris is not, it's not Toronto, so you cannot walk around with your camera. Yeah, and uh, probably I will lose it. So I I tried some of shots when I was in Paris last last year. Okay. So that one is in the opera station too. So it's the same. It's basically a lot of people think that I am inside of the subway. No, I'm I'm outside. 
I'm on the subway station. I just mm -hmm. walk out. I position myself. I try to position myself. I take a couple of pictures and then I go yeah. inside and I go to the next station. And yeah. sometimes I need to go back because none of them is good. So, oh, and, and I'm not, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. My, I admire your, 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 your commitment. I mean, to get the high park sign, like, yeah, you know, sharp, it takes, it takes it because takes, you need to focus time. before, uh, before you need to focus before the subway is there. Yeah, and and then and then try your best. <laughs> so yeah, I try like, my best. Does the have to go a certain speed to get this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it can't. Yeah. So and sometimes it's, I think I learned my my lessons as uh, sometimes I was in the beginning I was in the middle. It's better to be right in the beginning when the subway is is really stopping, mm -hmm. so you catch it when it's coming instead of being on the end of the subway station right, because it's right. already too slow. Yeah. So I, it's sense. a learning. It's a learning. Yeah. Thing. It's a learning. So you. Thing. So you've done. Did you say all line two or all line one? I did uh, the old oh. one. Should be line two. I think it's the one. Yeah. It's the one I park and. Uh, yeah. So I think it's line two. I did it completely from one. Wow. From one how long spot. did I take you? Like, like I. It was last year. I think it was three months or so. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Not every right. day. That, there's a lot of stations there. No. Yeah, it's thirty-two. If I what was your favorite I, station? What was your favorite station? I park. I I live right I on top of I park, and I oh, park as you? that as that uh that guy inside of the that looks to give him a, a good look. But it's I park, and and uh, mm. I think Kipling. It's uh, Kipling. Is it's good too. There is a couple of them. I I, yeah. I try to make it look differently, not not just the uh, yeah. Not just, and then I position sometimes there is, I think she's there on, um, yeah. I like the reflections too. That that one is intentional moving too, the one with the horse. It's also in France where I do like, oh, it's, yes, those, are, those are spatial distortions. So it's mm. what I call one second flat space distortion. So I, I take it, oh. I, I handheld the camera steady for half second and then in the other half second I just yeah. move it slightly and gives that uh gives that effect to the <laughs> i like so how you put in the caption no editing i'm pretty necessary. sure people look at this and they say yeah, he's just photoshopped that and no. i have some yeah. friends that can do that in five seconds on photoshop yeah which uh, but, but you know i found to be able to do it in camera is cool though yeah, yeah. it takes a certain skill a little bit yeah i, I like think when you it's people don't people what's even you you start shooting like you don't realize like the aperture and even for me to find out what's because my dad was a I'm sorry for the expression, but it was like the French people say the mer de toi. So mm -hmm. he was explaining me the basics, mm -hmm. but he was not telling me like how, how do I get a blurry background? Because he, he was a very, very much better photographer than me. So mm -hmm. I was asking him like by 10, 12, how can I get a blurry background? And he says, uh, you figure it out. So I need to go and take like in different mm. apertures and then take notes of picture one on right. the notebook, picture two with this aperture. And then I start figuring it out by learning, wow. by learning from those he notes. Made you, he made you figure it out yourself. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it, wow. and at some point it, it comes as a, the more you shoot, the more it's instinctive for you. Yeah. And, uh, wow. and then takes, uh, takes that, that's why you work, man. Yeah, yeah. He made you work, but it's worth it, right? Because we'll now, because now you, now you, un understand. Yeah. How to it's, do all it's these. It's pretty effects. photography. It's pretty, it's it's pretty easy. I think it's mm. the the magic of photography. It's photography can do so many different things. It's when I I talk this as a joke to people, like photography can can be useful to give you a speeding ticket, which is funny <laughs> yeah. or. It goes from there to can yeah. a photographer can be so powerful that can stop a war or a, yeah. so it's it's the magic and you can see like radio losing and things evolve but since photography yeah. which is not for humanity photography is just a thing a recent very recent thing but you can see it it never goes away you can have no. now you have Instagram it's based on photography you have a lot of means that are based in photography so. Photographic yeah. change evolved, but it's it's it will still be always, it will be always be there. I, I believe. Yeah, no, I, I mean absolutely. I mean, do you?
do you, do you like Instagram or do you prefer to show like show like share your work elsewhere? Just because I, your work is I, so I unique. I think you know? I give this advice to people even if they don't do even if they don't do that because I I was doing that and and a lot of people don't do that nowadays and I figured it out. Yeah. Instagram is good to have some feedback. Sometimes you get very like you you probably know better than me. It's very disappointing at times it's based on something that we don't understand usually the pictures i like more is always the pictures that don't create a great feedback on instagram always it's so, always those ones yeah so i always say this it's it's a good thing because you can connect to people you can see work from other people and and make things uh, make make your mind change about that yeah. But it's always good when, even if you doesn't have to be very fancy, uh, but you should print your work. If print. if you really want to evolve, you you need to print your work because as soon as your work is, that is the difference. Before, I I know some great. Uh, I will not say great, but yeah, they are great photographers, and I'm amazed that they do that on a phone, which is from the Instagram standing point. Because when I say great, they are great in composition. So we, I cannot deny that that picture is great. But the problem is, if you print that picture, it will not be uh, the same. So what I yeah. say to people is, if you really want to learn and, and get a sense of what you are doing, it doesn't cost a lot of money. Just print something. It doesn't have to be very fancy. It doesn't have to be gum over platinum palladium, nothing like that. But print your work and, 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 and then you can, now and then you print it and then next year you print another one and then you get, the, you get the sense of, then you get the real sense of how much you are evolving in, in, in photography. Yeah. So I, I give that advice to people always, Absolutely. just print your work even if you, if you think you're not selling it, if it, just for you, for the sense of, you can see that piece there and you can feel it in a different way. No, absolutely. And also, like, when you print your work, it just becomes more personal to you because now you can actually, like, hold it instead yeah. of looking on a screen. You're actually, like, holding yeah. it in your hand. So it becomes more personal. Yeah, definitely. You know? that's, yeah. That's, that's what I find, right? Because it just makes it more real. Like, you're, you, can, you can see it on the wall and it just becomes yeah. kind of like your baby, right? So, like, where, like, yeah. where, like, where do you print your work? I mean, people that I, are in the I, I area, use, I use uh, I have some very expensive prints. I, I cannot even tell you the name of the guy. It's like Bob. He has a gallery. <laughs> He's the only guy that can, that can transfer. I figured it out. It's Bob Garney, something like that. He's in Toronto. You can find it. If you find a guy that does gum over platinum palladium that is the ancient way of when photography started it was the way of so that picture will last a regular picture will last like i will say a, a very bad one will last 10 years mm. a good one even if you print it on poster jack or something like that you will have it for 50 years gum over platinum palladium unless you burn it it will last uh, a thousand years or uh, or wow. until until so you don't have to go there because it's extremely... So I print some of them there, which are very expensive prints, uh, yeah. I can tell you. Because the guy, what he does is he, he gets the digital file and he converts that on a, on a film. And then he, he prints that in the old way that people was doing the, the printing. So it takes a... I don't even imagine how, how much... Uh, how much work he has doing wow. all those conversions or wow. whatever. So it's poster like jack, it's, it's like, yeah. an, a, apart from publicity, it's, it's the best way between, the best balance between price and quality. And uh, you can okay. get really products from there. Okay. Apart from there, from, from where tip. I figured it out. Yeah. That's a good tip. Uh, Roy is saying a question in French. So, so something about digital film, but digital silver. <laughs> Roy with the French question. Is that uh, French? Earth film. I don't know. Is uh, it? It's Earth film. I think it's Portuguese, actually. Portuguese? Okay. Earth film sobre digital. That's Earth my third digital. language. It's your third language, too? No, oh, so you can. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> English is my third language, so I <laughs> as you guys can realize by my accent, too. No, so you're it's crushing like it, man. You're crushing it. And I don't really get I fan? think. Portuguese. I think he's asking. I think he's asking if film loses 
to digital and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I cannot right, put it in English. quite well and uh, if it's digital it's it's uh, it's a shortcut to to get quality I don't, I'm not one of those guys that think that if you shoot in digital, you are not a real photographer. Just and if mm. you shoot off, I think the pleasure of film is like it's like a alpinist that goes on the mountain on his journey. It's yeah. a different pleasure because you take the picture and then you yeah. probably can 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 yourself bring that picture to life. So it's it's a uh, but that doesn't like I was telling you, Frank Horvat was by 90 years old. He was trying to figure out how to print and he was one of the great photographers of, of his generation and he was using digital so i don't think film and digital will create like a sort because i shoot in film i'm better than the guy that's yeah. even i'm not against people who shoot in in, in phones phones nowadays it's it's just like a phones as a, a pro mode that uh, that you can use and if you use it in pro mode what i say is just don't you cannot print that. You cannot. You, I will. I will know that is that is the algorithm that is doing the picture, and yeah. it's not you. I will know, and anybody that is into yeah. photography after a while will figure it out that that is a camera. But it, it's still a picture. It's still a, a quality work. I know. Like I told you, I know a lot of guys that I was really surprised. Uh, I think I, I'm trying. I'm very bad in names, and I think it's a guy that his Instagram handle is. I'm not going to say because maybe people don't know, so I'm not going to disclose that. But he told me, I, I, I take everything on my iPhone, and I was very, it's amazing because the quality of the, the composition is, is amazing. So, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's just, I always, yeah. when, when I see people doing that, like Cottage Girl, that she's, she was there, mm -hmm. and uh, I always tell her, just invest in a, you, you don't have to buy a very expensive cameras. Cameras are very, you can buy a camera. You don't have to go, but it's always a good experience when when you are such a great, such great in composition, and you you just limit yourself, let the phone thinking for you. It's bad because it's it's not easy as you know. It's it's all it's all a matter of uh, of getting more pleasure from what you are doing. So people should yeah. should do that. A yeah. lot of people start in phones, and then so phones are also a great thing because they attract people to composition and then they go from there and evolve but as the the question was that i think and i'm not i don't think you are a better photographer or it's easier to to capture on digital than it's easier to capture on film it's just that if you miss it on film you miss it on you film miss if you miss it on digital it's the same thing you, you just can delete it or you can burn yeah. the picture you you print and it's not good yeah so it's no like, i I believe composition is the most important thing to understand because yeah. if you miss the composition, yeah, yeah. you've missed a shot, right? Yeah. So, Even if you miss the light, if the comp the composition is great, you can yeah. always blame the you can always blame you can always pretend that uh, oh I overexpose it on purpose. <laughs> you could. You could. You, could. There's, no, there's, you know there's what ways I mean? No, if, if, if the composition is good, even if the light is not like, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I mean, a, I'm a light guy. I, I like natural light. So of course you need to be very careful. But but starts with the composition because you can be great in in handling the light. But if if the story you are telling is it's uh, it's not uh, it's not there. It's nothing you can do. You can have a beautiful light. You can have a beautiful mm -hmm. model. You can have a beautiful city. And then the picture is, is it's just a picture. It's just a, it's not a photograph, like like I used to say. It's not a photograph. We're always saying happy accidents on both formats. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, if you're doing street photography, right, you really need to pay attention to, like, what's around you. Because if you miss something yeah. happening on the street, it's gone. Or you can't ask the person to do it again, right? So Yeah. Um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not, I can say a lot of people ask me that and I, I do street photography. I'm not a pure street photographer. Like, I don't know mm. if you know the, one of my references in street photography, it's um, yeah. again, what is, uh, again, it's, uh, let me check if I can go there. Sure. I talk to him almost every day and I'm, okay. I'm really bad and I'm really, it's Daniel Dunlop, okay. but his, his, his Instagram handler is the stash. The stash? So, yeah, the stash. The stash? So he's, he's just brilliant in, in street photography. Oh, he, yeah. And he, 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 lives, he lives around us. 
So he's okay. just a brilliant street photographer. And when he says, he says, he told me, uh, we, we have some sometimes debate about, he, he claims he doesn't like applied narrative. So uh, yeah. he says, uh, I don't have applied narrative to the pictures. I just want people to, to figure it out by themselves. Mm, okay. I joke with him and I can see a lot of applied narrative in every of their pictures. He has an amazing picture in the subway that is the queen one. <laughs> I'm very sorry, no? Which is a, it's, it's, it's a masterpiece, yeah. It's a masterpiece. I, it should be like this. there. It's it's really, it's one of, it's, it's a, an award-winning picture because it's a old lady. It's there. It's this there. one? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, this, this is just because <laughs> it's so simple. And, uh, yeah, and it's it, queen. Yeah, I yeah. It. it's so simple. It. It's so, so, so yeah. simple. So yeah. he's the street photographer. What I say, he says, I can take this type of shots so I can do street photography too. My limitation is my my background is European. So in Europe, you are not even allowed to take pictures of people. If you if mm. you cannot, you need you need an out, you need well. a written you need. Of course, people it's doing the same, but uh, it's not as here that you can point the camera. I I figure out by law in Canada if you are in a public space, I can take a picture of you, and that's all. And mm. I don't have I don't need any permission. Mm -hmm. I cannot take the other day what I was telling you, I was walking, it was late. I, I do some stuff that I don't even like to talk on whatever. It's it's part of my private life. So it's I was mm -hmm. outside to do some stuff and then I I I found a homeless guy sleeping. He he was hugging a big teddy bear and the smoke was coming from underneath his van. And mm -hmm. that is an award winning picture. And I, I told Daniel, Daniel could do it. I couldn't take the picture. Because I, I felt like, in my opinion, that was his bedroom. So I was taking a picture of his private, uh, of his mm -hmm. private. You want to take advantage. So I, I, I will. I, I'm not able. I knew that, for example, Daniel will be able to do that in a sort of respectful way because he does that. Like he likes to take the pictures like he was not there. For me, it's it's something that I can't. I cannot even point my camera straight to people's faces if, if I'm on the street. So so for that, I'm not a street photographer. I, I will never be. I will never. Be. Wow. Yeah, no, I mean, I get it. You, you don't you don't want to take advantage of the person's situation, yeah. right? You don't want to exploit yeah. that person, which I totally yeah. understand. Um, he also has some great great work. Maybe I should ask Dan if he, if he wants to come on the show also. He's got some great work too. Yeah, he's a great, he's a great. Uh, David Bailey shot. Yeah. Was that a reference to the Queen shot? Mm. David Bailey shot. I don't know. It's I quite don't know. Maybe. It's it's handle it's handle Instagram handle. It's it's not that. Yeah, yeah, probably it's a reference to photography. I don't I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah, but he's great. Yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah great. I mean that's the thing. Like, like you gotta pay yeah. attention to like what's around you, like what's happening. So yeah. I mean the queen and the and the lady, it's just perfect. And the yeah, way that she's yeah, and it's so simple. It's uh it's so simple that it's uh, so simple. It's really yeah. And sometimes all we need is simple, right? You don't have to make like a crazy, you know, you people don't have to go into these crazy edits and crazy yeah. photo shoots. It could be just as simple as you know, that queen shot where it's like boom. I go more complicated. It's like, mm -hmm. like I say, it's uh, Frank Orvat has a, a, a very well-known picture that I tried to reply. I still didn't do it. I'm planning in doing this year. Right. That is called Paris and Shoe, where is a, a girl in high heels, the Eiffel Tower, and the guy walking at the distance underneath the, the space of the shoe. So it's, it's mm -hmm. brilliant. I'm trying to recreate that in Toronto, so putting the CN Tower between the, the the high heel and and the, yeah. the shoe, yeah. So I go more that what what you consider it's a stage the uh, it's a stage the yeah. photography, but it's okay. like I'm saying I'm, I'm not uh, I, I'm not picky on that. I, I don't I don't because some people say if you are a street photographer you should not shoot models or do portrait or uh, mm. ads. Uh, I don't believe in that. Ads. I like no. to try everything in photography. So if I have the I chance to important. do. If I have the chance to evolve in different areas of photography, I, w I will do it. I'm not, uh, yeah, I think it's I'm important to, uh, you know, pe yeah, people always say niche down, but if you want to try different stuff, try different stuff because that's just part of the fun of photography, right? Like it's not yeah. 
it's not uh, it's not math class where one is one plus one is always two. You can do different yeah. things. You know, that's, that's the funny part of sometimes I have those types of I, I think I just block two two people on that because the the beautiful of photography is also even if somebody wants to copy your work, uh, mm. it, all it takes is one millimeter, uh, one millisecond, and 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 the one minute after. So. So all it takes is that, and the photography is not uh, the same. I I believe I did that twice because somebody was clearly going to the same place, going to the same spot, and doing right. the same angle or trying to recreate. And if they do it like and they tell me or they 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 are talking to me, some people I, I have I have friends that I take pictures of, and they are great photographers and they want to learn. It's okay, but if you clearly do that, like I go on a Tuesday. And they go on a Wednesday and they post the same picture. I know. What are you then, crazy. then I get upset. I yeah. don't say nothing. Oh, cool. I just block people. And, uh, yeah, and it uh, happens though. Eh? It happens yeah. though. Because we all go. At the, the city is not. Uh, it's very hard to find. Uh, after some years, it's very hard to find. We all go to the same places. That's okay. Yeah. And that is perfectly okay. We can have. It's even the CN Tower. There is uh, some 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 people. Amy does a lot of of uh, shots of the CN Tower that I love. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a person that I, I use the CN Tower if it's like far away from. So everybody can shoot the same thing, but it's yeah. annoying when somebody's trying to. I know. To go and and do the same stuff and not even oh because there there was a funny I don't remember who he was but he sent me a couple of pictures of the subway when I was doing the subway series and he showed me yeah. this is what I can do and he was they were completely blurry and I was laughing yeah. and he was and he was trying to do the same and he was asking me how you do it because most of the people thought I was inside of the subway and the subway yeah. was moving yeah and it was not I, I explain I'm I, I can even give you the settings I, I say it's 125 you go with the, the aperture. I will tell you everything. It's, yeah, that's you still, can't, you still of, uh, can't do it. You still yeah, can't do it. It's, it's that's not why. Like, uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not that I'm going to tell you. It's it's just don't go and pretend yeah. I'm so... And usually that people are people that have... Because they live on that, they go on the... Um, on the I, I call it the biggest hits. And so they do biggest hits over and over. And then they get very... Instagrammable, which which is okay. Um, I live okay with that. I live okay with that. I, I I used to say that I'm an influencer. I influence people to leave me alone. So <laughs> <laughs> that should be on a t-shirt, man. That should be on a t-shirt. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah I influence. Um, it, it but it happens. To be, right? It yeah. used to be my bio before I said I said that. I love but it. Then some people say, it. "Don't say that because it's bad." But it's actually that. It's uh, it's actually. Yeah. You got to put that on a t-shirt, man. That's, yeah. that's, I mean, that, that will sell hundred yeah. percent. That will sell. But you know, I mean, especially in Toronto, cause there's so many photographers that like, that's the challenge of making something shot yeah. a billion times different. Yeah, yeah. Like how are you yeah. going to do it? And that's the challenge. There is, there is a lot of the, the beauty of this city is you can, I, I discovered new things every, every, mm. every walk. You just turn one, you just turn one place and you, you find out uh, the other day I found out an alley that, very very narrow one it yeah. was in yorkville and i walk in yorkville for years and years and i never mm. found that place and then finally i found it and there's a beautiful dark arch light that it's beautiful right. so nice. it's it's also part of the magic if you go and explore the city until the point of uh you can always you can live here i think 100 years and still find out uh I have that thing with uh, with Brian James because he, he yeah. says to be successful on Instagram, you should post only pictures of New York. And I yeah. say, what I do is I try my pictures in Toronto look like they are took in New York. So, right. Right. so it's just a joke yeah. we do because yeah. you, you can keep going and going and you always find uh, you always find new places in this. Yeah. And I think so, the trick there is just to is just to keep walking. Yeah. Like walk yeah. everywhere because you're going to find things. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, but that's a great so, tip, you know, just being able to like, just shoot, just pushing, just pushing your limits, you know, and that's what separates people's work really. So, yeah, I shoot a lot. I, I have like, uh, it's, I can tell you right now, I'm not, because people think that what I, what I post is like, uh, right now I took, so we are on what April, I am yeah. confused. So I took 31 yeah, 31,000 pictures oh, since, January. Really? since so January. Since January. 
<laughs> so do you like do you like do you shoot every day? Do you try to shoot every day? Not every day. Not every day. That's that's uh not every day I try, but at least like three, four times a, a week I shoot. Good. Yeah. That's good. It's a discipline, right? Yeah. It's a discipline. Yeah. That's just how you get better. But at three three, four days a week. So um like during COVID, what did you do? Did you just wander the streets and try to get that that yeah. that time in history? Yeah, you took you took the it's, uh, a lot of people was, at some point was annoying because people saying we are not. I was following COVID protocols. I was not getting clothes. I was not doing yeah. portrait. I was wearing a triple mask. Yeah, and we, we were able to took pictures of uh, that. It was it's impossible to take it probably today. Even the empty That's subways. Right. Yeah, empty subways, oh, empty empty cities. Yeah, it was a. You're documenting, uh, though. You're also. You're it was also, a good time for uh, me. Documenting, yeah. just do documenting the times, right? So. Yeah. Could be it could be pretty p p powerful, like later on in life, you know, five, ten, tw like twenty years from now, you can you can print that stuff and have kind of like a photo. Yeah, yeah. A photo yeah. essay, photo book, you know. A it's bit. a document, and and the kids like. Uh, the other day, I saw a kid that a baby that was everything that he fought on. Every object he find, he thinks it's a hand sanitizer. So it's yeah. it's like they're gonna yeah. look at back to those pictures, and probably they're gonna think it's natural because uh, we, I, I don't see us getting rid of masks anytime soon. So yeah, who knows, right? but uh... but it's, it, that's the magic of that's what I was telling you. It's big, uh, photography goes from so extremes. It can be used in in, in so many so many ways. Mm. You can uh, that that is the the beauty and magic of uh, of photography, because yeah, we, even I, even if we have a even people say I'm I'm used to say like sometimes I joke about the mug shot, because even a good mug shot it's yeah. it's important to find the criminal because it's if it's a bad one, yeah. you you will not find it and if it's the, the cop has the the science to do a good mug uh, mug shot, yeah, it's easier to find the guy when he's walking on the street so. Every everything in photography, it's, uh, hey, it's even mug shots. Even mug shots yeah, need yeah, skills. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the lighting was off on that one. Can you? Can you? Can yeah, you yeah. Can I? I cannot see him now. It's it's too blurry. I, I yeah, didn't recognize yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. No. Exactly. It's, exactly. exactly. That's funny. Know. Um. But yeah, I mean, you know, especially like in 2020, like photography was like basically therapy, right? Because you know, yeah, you, you was, go out with your camera, you just take your point off stuff, and it's just yeah. You know, it was a way yeah. that I never got COVID. I was lucky. I was, I was so yeah. I was very careful too, but I was lucky too because I was still riding the subway and uh, yeah and do that stuff. But it it was the only way that basically we could go somewhere that and and do some stuff and have some yeah. And I th I think a lot of energy. and br brought a lot of people also to photography because they figured out if they can walk and and yeah, yeah exactly. discover the city and. It's, yeah, it's exactly. part of that. Yeah. No, 100%, man. 100%. Just like I always tell people, like the hardest part is leaving the house. It's the hardest part, leaving the yeah. house. So As you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm very, I'm very skeptical of walking with a lot of people around me because yeah. usually I don't have, uh, so I, I think I did it once and I, I didn't mm. felt very, I can deal with two, three people. If it's 10, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting confused. <laughs> I'm yeah. getting confused. But it's okay. I think we are all different. We are all different on yeah, that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Hey, Evans, how's Ghana, man? <laughs> uh, why do cops walk? Why do cops walk driving pairs? One knows how to write, the other knows how to read. Ooh. <laughs> that's. <laughs> yeah, meditation exercise. Yeah, I mean that's you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it's the. It's it's, the good it's a journey. It's like a yeah. lot of people look at the the subway shots, and some people ask me that's it's, uh, it's just the name of the subways through the window, which I can I can challenge some people to try to do it because yeah. it's, that's that that's when that's that's when people tell me ah, I could have took that picture and says because I know. photography is also that thing that I learn by myself that. The difference between you being amazing and you being a very bad photographer is sometimes one one dollar. Mm. Because if you, if you ask for one dollar, your photography is no good anymore. But mm. five minutes before, it was pretty amazing. So it's also mm. that uh, it's also that deal. But it was not only the names. It's it's part of a it's part of a journey. It was and it was during COVID. So it was during COVID that I probably. Yeah. 
probably I didn't have, I was not able to do it today because I will have a lot of people crossing in front of me. And yeah, by then exactly. I just, I just could relax. I was by myself on the, on the platform and I could, yeah. I could do it in, in a way that, uh, and, it, and it's part of the experience. It's part of the meditation of going from existence to, to, to essence. So you start in yeah. one side and you have your project and it, it, it was very interesting, but very tiring. Uh, I, I'm not seeing myself. And, and also there is some technical issues with the other line because the, the yeah. new subway creates some conditions that will make it extremely difficult to, yeah. the, the, even the speed that it arrives to the station, it's a, it's, it will yeah. make it very, very challenging. And the subway stations are much more, so it will probably take me yeah. six months. Oh boy! It'll probably take me six months. Did you did you print the subway stuff? I print some of the some. Did you, of are the, you making a? Did you make a book? Are you going to make a book about it? No, uh, I'm not. I'm not quite. Uh, I'm quite skeptical with the uh, with anything related to that in Toronto because I think people are saturated of of prints also. So yeah, I just I can, wonder. I like, can do it. I have TTC. I have, uh, TTC. yeah, TTC, it's another, like, it was the 100 years of TTC also. So my series was uh, Existence Precedes Essence, which means that you need to experience all the things first before you reach to, mm -hmm. to, to the end and, and be who you are. Yeah. And it's funny because I can tell you, I don't have any problem in telling you that. I don't know if you know that, but there is, a, there is at least 50 influencers for the TTC that make fifty thousand dollars, and yeah. they don't post one single picture of the TTC. So, so, so what that's are they doing? that's so what are they doing? Uh, it's, uh, don't ask me. You you can actually search for that, and it's true. So there is people being paid to be a TTC influencer to influence people to ride the TTC. Yeah, and they they are not even probably they are driving their their uh, nice BMWs <laughs> and not posting pictures of the TTC. So this city that's is also. Right. That this city is also made. That that's also the difference between Toronto and New York and Europe. Mm -hmm. It's that it's very hard to do anything related to art because the art scene in Toronto is also related to some powerful entities that mm -hmm. flow Politics. that flow Politics. flow that money to to their friends and don't flow that money to, mm -hmm. to whoever is really creating things. But mm. I, I guess it is what it is. So, so yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna complain together. about that. I'm not gonna complain about that. Well, you have a fan from K, you're the master of black and white, so. Yeah, I don't know, we, we see all <laughs> you. Yeah. Thanks K, yes, yes he is. Thank you so much. Yes he is. So I'm not, you... I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> do you prefer New York then over Toronto? Like do you, like do you like do you have a city that you love to photograph? Is it Toronto or is it somewhere else? Uh, it's, Lisbon is Lisbon. So I, I was born in Lisbon and yeah. I was there like in December just for three days. Lisbon has a beautiful life. And if you lease, if you see Lisbon or El Porto, I have old pictures that I don't have it with me. And uh, and I was also I lived in Africa for a while. Yeah. So I will say South Africa it's, and South Africa and Zimbabwe and those places are those cities are more interesting in terms of human background mm. for the for the pictures. Mm. Uh, Lisbon has a beautiful light is one of the beautiful lights in the world. Toronto has that thing that you can always find something new. It's uh, yeah. so I, I will say I'm not, I'm not saying New York you can create but that's the the also the thing that that makes black and white easier. You can you can be anywhere, and if you are because you don't have the color, you don't have the distraction. You yeah. just have the clean picture. So I, I will I will tell you that some of the pictures that I, I don't even posted uh, were taken in Africa, so in South Africa, and I I don't even have it in my Instagram. I, I, they are on yeah. film. They are on film. So because the light of the light of uh, the light of those cities, it's. Toronto has a beautiful light, but it's not that. Uh, it's not that. It's the geographical position of the, yeah. the the city that make it like that. Yeah, Kim Kim has family in uh, Madeira. Yeah, it's a, it's a, I I was never there. It's so it's a island that I. It's yeah. Part of Portugal. 
yeah, yeah. I've been to I've been to Lisbon. I've been in Porto. Great, great cities. Yeah, yeah. Those two great cities city. are you can do, and there is great photographers there. They are they are like oh yeah, uh, oh yeah. Because the 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 light is, it's complete. It's it's like Lisbon. It's the problem is you cannot find another city with such a big river that crosses the yeah. So all that sun hitting the ocean, hitting the river, brings light from from right. so many places that it's it's impossible to recreate that uh, in another yeah. place. Yeah. In another place. Yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Do you have, so? Do you, have, do you like? Do you have any plans this year? Big plans or next year? Like for photography? Like I have. I have. I have quite a. I cannot tell you specifically where it is. Yeah. But I'm planning to bring a grand piano. To the streets of Toronto, okay. and have like a so it's a, 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 for for reasons of safety. Yeah. So the piano will be in a public space, so it's gonna be like a, what? somebody's gonna bring it out, and we gotta take the pictures. Probably the cops will arrive, and then by then we have the, the we have the grand piano again on the van, and then run. Whose so piano is this? Who's... It's it's a grand piano. It's 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 just a piano that it's the long one, the the long ones. The but whose is it though? Whose piano uh, is it? Ah, uh, it's uh, that I cannot reveal. You cannot reveal really. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So is but someone it's... gonna play the piano? Somebody's so, gonna play, and he's yeah. really gonna play. He's not gonna fake play the piano. Real playing in yeah, somewhere real in playing. The with a with a Toronto background. So okay. one of one of those complex things. It's it's what I want to do. I want to do a lot of of um, different kind. So I'm coming with um, like I don't know if if you guys know Exer MC Exer. It was a mathematician that he was doing lithography. So I, I want to do some photography based on his work that is also based in in my reflections because he used a lot of reflection in his work. So I want to use like people also creating heart in mirrors and I'm trying to create the, the picture of that people as, as the workflow goes. Okay. So it will be like basically painting on mirror and it will be really painting. I have like a million Jeez. ideas a day. I want to squeeze somebody that is, it's, it's probably going to be Miss Candide Ouvert inside of a big duck work because the pipe, you, you know, the big duck work. So we don't know, we're going to try to find a big pipeline that we can yeah. squeeze her in. Okay. So I have like, a, I have a, a notebook full of, uh, of projects to do. Like I just don't wow. have the time and, the, and sometimes the resources to do it because the piano one, it will be, I need at least five, six people to bring it to the place that we have we are thinking on bringing it so take yeah. it out i don't think somebody's gonna bug us a lot even if the cops see that they will not say it's I it's not they probably, they, I, unless, they probably unless i decide to put it in the that. middle of adelaide street which will be looking great if i put it in the middle of adelaide street probably they were going to come after me but no it's not going to be in the middle of the road so i uh, that i can promise they're <laughs> going to think it's Part of like a piano shoot for a company or something, you know? That's yeah, yeah. Like, who actually brings a piano? I'm gonna have to yeah, it's, it's 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 guaranteed now. <laughs> it's yeah. guaranteed now. It's all arranged. It's just a question of good weather and uh and yeah. and goodwill. Good weather and good. Now, will. what's what like what song is the person gonna play on the piano? Is I have no song? idea, but I can I can guarantee you she she plays very well. So she yeah. she she will play she will play very well. Wow, you can even go to like Massey Hall. Do that, do it outside Massey <laughs> Hall, man. Or yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's not gonna be. It's gonna be Toronto background, so cityscape mm. on the background of that, and it, it's gonna have like uh, some Location of that. But party. that is the yeah. the most complicated one. But like these small ones, just today I I shoot some messages some messages to some people. Right. So just today I have like three or four different ideas, and usually I make and then I I recall the face of the or the 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 personality of the person that fits that thing and then I just ask and and we try to do it. We try to do it. Wow, it's very exciting, man. Like where do you where do you get all these ideas? Are they just kind of like that's come, like, from my brain. <laughs> they just come to you. Like yeah, you're walking yeah. on the street and boom. I got Sometimes this. they can come from different things from songs, from from I have pictures. Usually people don't realize it can be from poetry, from from mm -hmm. songs from Philosophy from yeah. from philosophy came a lot of the stuff that I do. Mm. That uh, some of the some of my pictures. It was interesting the other day. I was talking to a, a PhD, a medical PhD, on something that I don't even know what it is. And she was saying, "You you can see a lot of 
psychological drama on on that picture on on a very particular picture mm. uh, i cannot recall which one she was talking about but she just says that is a psychiatric uh, drama going there on the, on on the picture and it, it, it's cool when people can read all those layers of the picture because yeah. sometimes people i think it was yeah i think it's the one of cottage girl this, uh, it was an interesting one we did it on so i took a stool from home Right. We actually put the stool between the streetcar rails and then I took the picture and at some point the streetcar was coming from her back and she didn't pay attention because oh, no. she was turning to me and because oh, I was on on the camera, I, I was yeah. doing the blurry background so I couldn't yeah. see the streetcar. Mm. So we almost get run over by a streetcar. So oh, no. Jeez, man. <laughs> it be careful, like... man. You can't <laughs> yeah. lose it. Yeah, no. It's, it's, sometimes it's funny, but it's... Uh, it's yeah. Uh, part of that i guess no no risk no reward right a yeah bit sometimes you gotta push it was not on purpose we we have no. no intention of having i was just really want the the, the stool in on the center of the rails yeah but yeah it was it was everything is okay we are okay so yeah no, and it's, it's and, it, I, and i really like the picture i really like it even better and you got a story to tell with it yeah perfect yeah, yeah. perfect you can put that on the coffee table. I mean, great picture. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> <What's> that? <laughs> yeah, that those Perfect. those ones they have a lot of a lot of them. It's yeah, fun. yeah, yeah. No, absolutely, man. Um, well, we're kind of up against the hour, so I don't want to keep too much of your time. Do you want to maybe like steer people towards your website, or can people buy prints from you, or where do you want people to go? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't really do that. So yeah. if people like, I, also the people that buy my prints are not located in Toronto, are located in, in different cities, more in Quebec. It's, it's okay. funny. Really? So I should probably move there and yeah. take more pictures of Montreal. Yeah, make some money. But yeah, my, my, my Instagram handle, it's, it's my, it's my website. It's the 10 minus yeah, four. 10 minus four. That I didn't, uh, I explain to you, it's my 10 different, uh, photographic personalities <laughs> minus my four religious fictional friends. It's, yeah. a, it's a joke that I do. So the, the website great, is the same thing. And I, uh, never and would I think it's that. I thought so. I thought it was six for Toronto. But no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Okay. Like thank you so much for having me. And, Thanks, man. Uh, we should have you on. Maybe we should have great. you on again later this year if you do the piano thing or some other okay. crazy okay. photography stunt. You can come back. I will. And I will keep you updated on that. Yeah, you're crushing, it, man. You have so much knowledge and so much okay. passion for photography. So, I uh, really appreciate you jumping on and uh, hang back when we go offline for a second. And, okay. Um, yeah, I think this is it. I think um, next week we have we have another guest, and I know that Brian wanted to do the photography portrait challenge, which I think. Um, Paulo should enter, but anyway, that's because he'll probably win it. <laughs> but, um, no, no, I never, I never win. Do it. Sorry, I never win a challenge. It's, you it's, never, it's, you'll it's, win this. It's very you'll difficult. Win this <laughs> you'll win this one. Um, yeah, we'll probably do like the portrait challenge probably in May, I guess, because Brian's like got some work to do and stuff. So, and we got some guests for the next few weeks. So, uh, but anyway, get them in sooner rather than later because time is just flying by. Thanks, Kim. And uh, yeah, that's about it. We don't have any outro music. I know I saw Evans. I don't know if Evans is still on, but he's in Ghana, so it's probably like twelve thirty for him. Yeah. So maybe, hopefully, hopefully he can jump on for one of them when he's uh, over there. Yes, he is. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week for another episode of Open Shutter. This uh, episode will be on Spotify and Google Podcast tomorrow. Please share it, and uh, if you're not. Uh, Subscribe to my channel, please do, because I'm close to 500, so almost there. So uh, go check me out, and we'll see you next week. Thanks so much for watching. Outro music. <laughs>